Hello everyone. My name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to start out the uh, other data structure that we have up into your uh, Python and that is your sets. Okay. Now, uh, starting about the list, about the tuples and all those after studying all of those stuffs. Now we have up the set which is one uh, other data structures that we have up in the Python programming language and that is really very 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 much necessary for you to study the, uh, what are sets, right? What are these used for? What are the cases when you will use up these sets, right? Let's get started up over here. Now, if I talk in that what is a set, okay? So, as I say, uh, unordered collection an object collection of data type. One second. Yes. Uh, if someone will ask me out now that what are the sets? So very quickly I am going to just reply of that person, particular person that sets are the unordered collection of your data types. Right? As in list, as in tuple. <coughs> we were uh, saving up a lot of type of um, or data types into one single variable that was what we were doing up over there right so now if we're talking about your uh, sets so sets they will contain up only uh, i would say only one type of data of yours into that right you can't store um, one string uh, other um, i'd say other number right third we are a teacher fourth your decimal so now these types of stuffs can be done over your uh, sets right that is one single thing second thing uh these are your iterables these are mutables and they do not have any duplicate elements okay I, i'll just help you to understand uh, this about iterable mutable no duplicate now if i talk about what are iterables iterables means that they, they can iterate you can use up the for loops over those right from moving from one position to the other position if you wanted to go so you can just move from one position to the other position and all those stuffs you can do very easily right if i talk about mutables so mutables um means once you have defined and declared up a set you can change up that particular set right you can just add in either some elements or you can just delete in some elements that is what is your mutable and if we're talking about your duplicates so duplicates will be uh, taking up your uh, let's say i cannot have two same numbers into my list as in if i give you an example uh, if i declare up a set your set you declare in by the curly brackets okay like this if I write in something like that, 4, 7, 8. So see, here now what do we have? We have uh, two hues, right? We have, uh, okay, let me just uh, like change that because it might, yeah. Here we have two ones, right? This one and this one. We have two different types of ones over here. So what are those? So two different types of ones are here as in, um, it's, it's all belonging that uh, this one and this one. So these are what? These are the duplicates. So like you're having a duplicate of one into one uh, into the set of yours, right? So that particular thing is not at all allowed. So you can't have over here the duplicates uh, into your uh, sets. That is not at all allowed, right? So that is what you have in about the sets that you need to understand about a little uh how like what is that actually what are the properties which is a set is having and even how do you declare up a set right um <clears throat> now uh you might think that uh, why why set came into role right that uh, already we were having up a list over here right now this is a very frequent question which mm -hmm. could be asked mm -hmm. up into your interviews to you that uh, okay tell me that uh into the list also you can define up the elements right um into list list is also mutable list is also iterable right and uh, onto the list so you can complete you can have the duplicates and the non-duplicate values also then why to use this set right what's what's the benefit or what's the advantage of using the set so this is one very common question which can come up over here to you right so try to listen the answer very carefully and just make sure that you are making the note of this particular thing which i am telling you because you'll just not get this very easily somewhere on google okay so try to write this answer over here so answer is ki 
why set is required because uh, it is actually a very highly optimized method right whenever you want to check in about a specific element right you want to find in the index of any specific element you want to check that specific element is present at what particular index or any operation like this you want to do sets are the highly optimized method which you can uh, use it right it is having of that highly optimized methods which you can use in for uh, checking a number for finding the index of any particular number for all of these particular stars you can do that respective thing so always make sure that you are even trying to uh, search in upon that why list where list why tuple where tuple these types of questions also should be very much clear right so i hope i'm clear with this कि सेट्स जो होते हैं सेट्स आपके ये एक बहुत ही हाईली ऑप्टिमाइज्ड मेथड होता है जब भी आपको कोई एलिमेंट फाइंड करना होता है जब भी यू हैव टू फाइंड इन सम से सम इंडेक्स ऑफ अ एलिमेंट सो उधर पे यू कैन यूज अ सेट्स वेरी इजली ठीक है दैट्स द आंसर फाइन सो लेट्स लेट्स प्रोसीड इन एवरी वन एंड आई हेल्प यू आउट अ लिटल बेट विद हाउ वी कैन डिक्लेयर अप सेट ओवर यू ठीक है आई हेल्प यू आउट विद दैट लिटल लेट्स सी दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग ओवर हियो सो ओके वट एम आई डू इज दैट आई विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हेल्प यू आउट विद वन थिंग दैट हाउ यू कैन डिफाइन अप द सेट्स राइट सो सेट्स डिफाइनिंग इज वेरी सिंपल एज आई टोल्ड यू माई एंड इज कॉल सेट इज माई वेरिएबल ओके Put the curly brackets, and you can just define up any two, four, comma eight, comma one, two, three, like this, right? And simply you can print uh, the type of your my underscore six, right? So that my set, this type will help you to uh, display the data type of this particular variable, right? So see, when I have just found it out the type of this particular uh, program of me. That is my underscore set. This particular one, so it is showing me that the class is your set. So this is very much clear that uh, here whatever you have defined, that is your set, right? Coming next. Now, uh, in sets also it happens that if you want to change uh, one particular data type to the other, right? Many a times I have told you also. Uh, previously also many times that uh, there might many times there is a requirement for changing one sort of data type or to the other sort of data type right so into that particular case uh, we use up your explicit type casting right so what i'll do i'll just try to help you to change up uh, your uh, <clears throat> uh, list into a set okay i'll just help you out with that so um change underscore set my variable okay change underscore will be the better option right so change underscore set i'll just declare up a list over here 5 comma 9 1 2 6 3 4 let's say right and i i need to convert that to a set so i'll just put in these brackets over here one second i'll just first of all write it on here set right and i'll just try to put in these round brackets Now that's all done. This is how you just convert up any respective um, particular, I'll say, thus uh, list into a set. This is the particular method, right? So that is done, and uh, I can now even check in the type for this particular one, and it it will be showing me about your uh, tuple over. Sorry, set over. So if I run it over here, so see again what I got. One second, not me. Um, great. So see what I got. I just got this is a set also the first one and the second one is also your set, right? So this is how we can just change in one type of set to other. This is the method how we can uh, convert our uh, one data type to the other data type and convert a list to a set, a tuple to to a set, and everything. Now here I'll end up this video with one single question for you all, and I'll be expecting the answer from you in the chat box. That tell me, can we convert a dictionary to a set? can i change the data type of a dictionary to a set as i have done in here for the list i converted the list into a set can i convert a dictionary to a set 
right so give me the answer for this in the chat box everyone just try it at your own time uh, hopefully you people are going to give me some responses also and um, yeah that's all so right i hope you have enjoyed the video about the sets what is it can further will be continuing about the sets in the next video also we have a lot of things about the sets which is left uncovered so i'll be covering that in your next video so if you have enjoyed the video do like this particular video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe out my channel see you there in the next video